All right. There we go. All right. It looks like we are live. Hello, everyone. Happy Saturday. Happy Easter Eve for us here in the U S but happy Easter to Philippa <laughs> over in Australia. Oh, I think she froze again. <laughs> oh no. Um, Philippa and I were just talking about how they have, um, oh, there she goes, uh, four days off for Easter and we don't, for, from work, they get, they get Friday and, and Monday off from work. We don't oh, get wow. anything. Wow. We don't get squat. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> and yeah. the kids don't even Easter. really get, um, I remember when I was in elementary school we got a whole week because we would travel up to pennsylvania to visit my grandparents and yeah. by the time my kids were in school they didn't get anything but a couple of days so yeah kind of a boomer yeah, kids get a, at least a week as well yeah so they uh, usually we get friday and monday off and they the schools usually either tack on a, the extra week either side so they end up with two weeks holiday <laughs> wow I think it's just American yeah. companies because my husband's company is based in Japan and he has Friday. He had Friday off and he would have Monday off, but he's flying out. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Hi, Hi Melissa and Tamla. Hey, Del Marie and Michelle the Quilter from New York. Awesome. Del Marie's from Northern California. We've had a rainy dreary kind of day i was worried for a little while it got really dark and i was like oh we're gonna battle like power outages but now it's clearing up so oh, that's good all right so tonight is part two of the little hooter or as we lovingly refer to him hootie tootie <laughs> <laughs> um and for those that don't know that is this gentleman right here i don't know why i usually everything is a girl to me but for some <laughs> reason he's a he for me so <laughs> yeah little hooter is a he to me um but that we're working on him tonight we're working on so the plan for tonight is we're working on four blocks that we don't have to have them all finished tonight. So we'll just have more homework for by the time we meet up again, if, if we don't get them done. Because when the uh, pieces, when the finished pieces are small, like, like Little Hooter is, which is um, four rows down, four rows across, uh, things get spicy quickly. There's not a lot of, on the, the larger blocks, uh, like uh, for sale away that I was working on last year, there were several blocks that had, it was full page, three, four, five pieces of fabric, but it was all on one page. You didn't have to cut up anything. These ones, they're smaller and they trick you into thinking <laughs> that they're going to be, because it's smaller, it's going to be easier. They get fun really fast. It's not hard. It's just more pieces. So it, it takes a little bit more time to sew it because you're cutting apart the pieces, then you're cutting the, the fabric for all the smaller pieces, then you have to put all the different little sections together into units and all the units into blocks. And it, it's just a little bit more work to it. But it's still, when you're sewing, you're still just sewing a straight line on a piece of paper. Doesn't matter what size that piece of paper is or how many times you got to do it. It's still just one straight line <laughs> on a piece of paper at a time. But it does, it just gets, it gets more of what you're doing. And then putting those pieces together can get a little bit more uh, challenging and where you want to pay attention to where your ends are coming together, which is uh, Legit Kits has their magic white lines, which is like, okay, so they call it magic white lines, but... <laughs> In, in all honesty, it's just the extension. It's just extending the uh, sew line all the way across the block. So it's not like rocket science. So if you don't, if you're working on an FPP pattern and you want to try to line up when, you, especially when you have like 
you know, pieces that seem like they shouldn't go together because one's longer than the other, but they will go together. Just continue drawing the sew line all the way across the end of, into your seam allowance all the way across. And then you have magic sew lines too. Woo, behind the <laughs> scene in, insider trading information. <laughs> but so we've got these four blocks. How did everybody do on the first four four blocks that we did? Okay. Good? Everybody good? Yeah. So questions, concerns, pain points. No, we were, the, there was one where it was two parts. We kept those together st apart. We didn't put those, I didn't put them together. Was I meant to? You can. There's no reason mm -hmm. not to. Okay. But you don't have to do that right now. You can, can start putting these together. You'll have, you'll need to before you start sewing the rows together or the quadrants, however you want to put the okay. final pieces together, but you don't have to, um, right, right now. Okay. But yeah, so what but I is, could if I wanted to. Because I so is that what we're gonna do with these ones? Because each block is like, you know, ten pieces. Yeah. So we're so gonna we, keep them separate or will we put them together? You will want to again so again, this is gonna be how you feel about it. I'm okay. terrified I'm gonna lose things. So as mm -hmm. soon as I get all of the, the sections done, I put them together. And then I finish, I build the whole block because I'm far less likely mm -hmm. to lose a big block than I am to have a cat run off with like one of these, one of these little sections. Yeah. So for me, okay. I just like to have the block finished and done and then filed away again. Okay. You don't have to do that. And some folks will just sew and sew and sew and just put the the finished sections all in a in a pile and then just put them all, you know, Kind of like jigsaw puzzle it together at the end it's how whatever okay. works best for your head i think for me uh, um feeling self-accomplished and having it put together i think that's what i would do yeah it is it is kind of nice to be able to go oh that's what it ends up looking like and then you can yeah. play with the picture and be like where where does this actually end up in the finished piece that's kind of <laughs> yeah. fun too yeah that's funny um, Hey, Karen and Catherine and Charlotte. Good evening. And with the, um, the, when you start playing with the smaller pieces, it's sometimes easier to work with than working with these big pieces. Um, really? The, you know, they're, it, the big pieces can get a little fiddly. And floppy. <laughs> keep them laying flat, right? You're and trying to give me encouragement, Ingrid, because I'm freaking out about how little <laughs> tiny bits there are that I've cut out. Yeah, but, <laughs> but Philippa, you could start with a piece this big and sew that on. It doesn't have to start off small. Yep. Right. <laughs> it's it's like you're a sculptor and you're yeah. you're sculpting away pieces of the mm -hmm. the piece number one. You're using piece yeah. number two to sculpt away some of that. So yeah, Ingrid's right. You could start with as big a honking piece as you want to on yeah. for the this section. And then piece two can be as big a honking piece as you want it to. And then you just, <laughs> you know, carve it all out know. into this yeah. little block. Yeah. <laughs> it's, so, okay. it's so fun watching them come together like that too. Yeah. I I'll enjoy the the small pieces and and seeing oh. how they build. It it did not take me long to get to the point where the smaller the smallest smallest pieces were my favorite because it was so neat to see it build like you were saying you're like build up and become something because it just looks like a sliver of of a piece of fabric. Yeah. Yeah, and then it, it turns does. into an eyeball or something and you're like how did that happen? <laughs> I know. I know, I love that. But you don't have to be there yet, Philippa. You can still be a little nervous about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when, when I was cutting them out, I'm like, I'm sure Shannon said that we would slowly make our way around to the really hard ones. And then I'm cutting them out and I'm like, well, that didn't take very long to get to the little <laughs> tiny ones. 
did not take long at all. <laughs> no, no, it didn't. <laughs> uh. Well, with that, I am starting off with um, block D3 because it did have the biggest section. Um, oh, okay. So I thought I would start with, with that. Um, yeah, I started with D3 as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to grab that one as well. So we took a drive out to Hagerstown today and went to the Pennsylvania Dutch market. Oh, oh nice. <coughs> And Colleen, she just moved from Florida up to Virginia and has a new place that she's decorating. So she um she got lots of stuff. Oh, that's nice. Big move. That's a big, big. that is a big move, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. That's an exciting trip to be able to get some stuff for the new place. Yeah. Not that she didn't have somebody there egging her on. Huh. Who, who, me? <laughs> Anger, Anger is not like an incredible enabler or anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Beverly. Oh, Stephanie Charlotte saying she watched the rope. Oh, she will watch the rope will replay. Oh. <laughs> oh. So much fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, Stephanie, I watched your video on the dyeing. Uh -huh. I'm absolutely going to try that because it was so much fun. I need, I need like every color now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> After I did that one, I was like, now I want to go out and get every color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And, and then after seeing Philippa's bowl, now I kind of want to tie dye one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That would be fun too. Yeah. Like ombre it. Yes. Just... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very pretty. Oh, I pretty. love it. So it's nice. Blues and green. Half and half. Yeah. So nice. Was so much fun. You did yeah. a nice job with that, Philippa. Thank you. It was loads of fun. Great tuition from Stephanie. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the fun part was, you know, I'm like, she's like, now put it up and, and it will start turning. And I'm like, yeah, I don't believe you. And then <laughs> because it was nothing, was nothing was happening. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, but wait. I'm like, okay, just listen to Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> you doubted her? <laughs> I'm shocked. I see who my real friends and who aren't. <laughs> <laughs> Philippa, when do you see Stephen and Walter? Um, so today is Sunday morning and I see them Friday morning. Okay. Um, yeah, they're slowly making their way up the coast. Yes. Um, I I've been watching their videos. I love that they're making videos along the way. I know. And and I'm seeing things like I've been to Newcastle many times for um for ice hockey as, as my family is involved in ice hockey. And I've never seen some of the places that they've been to. So oh, that's wow. been fun. Mm -hmm. So you're you're uh, letting the tourists teach you a thing, or yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's fun. I wonder if he got to uh, pet his kangaroos. I know that the the zoo was full, so yeah, there there's many places along the way that they can go to, oh, um, and then you know there's I think when they come to Brisbane, they're planning on going to the Australia Zoo. Where mm -hmm. Steve, Ir you know Steve Irwin, yeah, the yeah, cro the crocodile man. So yeah. he's got a, a a zoo up on the Sunshine Coast from Brisbane, and I believe Stephen and Walter are planning to go there. So if it all comes down to it, they'll be able to do it there. Oh, good. Listen, I did not put it above Stephen to just tell Walter to stop the car and get out and go try to hug whatever kangaroo he sees on the side of the street. <laughs> 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 if he can't get to it at the zoo. A kangaroo will be hugged. Something will yeah. be happening. 
Yeah. Um. And then we will get to see it on the news. Canadian man ass kicked by, <laughs> by wild <laughs> <in the> room. <laughs> That would be so funny. That would All right, Charlotte, have a good dinner. So the Australia Zoo is near Brisbane? It's about an hour north. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, it's an easy drive. Yeah, I remember when he passed and we cried. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was so sad. The kids <laughs> were mortified. Kids. Because, um, um, gosh, it was so long ago now. I think when he was in, like, year one, and it was just mortifying for all the kids because they loved him, right? Yeah. Like, everybody loved him. Mm hmm Yeah, it's so sad. Very sad. We, we loved him here in the States, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he was just so personable. Mm -hmm. Yes. And fun. Yeah. Yeah, and fun. His plan looks just the spinning gym, spinning image of him. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I love that they kept it going. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I felt so bad for his kids. I think that was what made me the most sad to grow up without him. Yeah. Yeah, that's got gotta be like a weird because you can see him in all the videos and everything, but that's kind of like something you have to share with the rest of the world because it was on, you know, videos for TV shows and everything. And they, they had to miss him for their re like their real lives, not just the character on TV. Yeah. That's so young too. Very young. Yeah. Oh, I think I remember what to do. So Friday we went to um, Charlotte's, Shannon. Nice. And I picked up some more grunge. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I needed a few more colors for uh, Hootie Tootie. <laughs> I'm so glad that there's somebody else out there that is as addicted to grunge as I am. <laughs> and I was so against grunge. for the <laughs> I know you were. That's why it cracks me up. <laughs> like oh I, I don't get it i don't like it i don't understand <laughs> i know <laughs> but what like what what was it that that you weren't digging that it looks dirty <laughs> <laughs> okay but then when i saw it in person for the first time i um i understood it yeah and it wasn't it wasn't that it looked dirty. It was just fun colors intermingled. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Some of the pieces look like um, a car drive over them. Like That's a car true. driver. <laughs> That's true. There's a lot of people, Ingrid, that say it looks dirty, and I wonder the same thing if they just have never seen it in person. Yeah, I mean, that's really what did it for me, is mm -hmm. that I I saw it in person. Where, where was I? I don't even remember where I was, where I saw it for the first time. It'll come to me, but yeah. Well, then you used it on that um, class with oh. Adam Bourbon. Yes, it was when it was this time last year when we went, we were in Millersburg. Oh. We got, at, that's what I got, or I got something similar for, or was it the grunge? Yeah, no, it was grunge that I got for that class that we did. Yeah. Yep. 
It was Shannon's influence. <laughs> I blame her. I'm glad oh. she brought you to the dark side. Yeah. <laughs> Always been a bad influence. <laughs> I surround myself by bad influences. <laughs> Colleen, are you out there? No. <laughs> oh man, I I know she's got some good stories about you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we've been reminiscing since she's been here. Talking some Lots. good blackmail stories. <laughs> Lots of laughs. Um, blackmail, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> With the, but the good thing is, is um, uh, the, a lot of the fun that we had, I, I have said, I don't remember... Like this part of it. And she says, I don't remember either. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, age. <laughs> uh, no, I think it was just that, you know, we were that intoxicated. <laughs> I was giving you the benefit of the doubt, Ingrid. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that, it's got to be just the old age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> we met when um in a school in san diego and she came in i had picked a bunk when i went in i you know i was able to pick where my bunk was and i picked at the very end and uh, nobody else was in that section and then she comes in in the middle of the night and picks the bunk right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I woke up to somebody else in there with me. <laughs> and then we've been besties ever since. Oh, oh that's awesome. And that was 30 years ago. Wow. That's great. And now she lives just three hours away. It's the closest that she's lived since since we got out of the Navy. So that's no telling, so cool. No telling what's gonna happen now. <laughs> <laughs> Hide your husbands. <laughs> <laughs> She talked me into getting a new TV because apparently I was not with the times because I did not have a smart TV. Yeah. <laughs> there was, um, like I have this, I have the Xfinity, so I have, uh, it comes with a flex box where you can stream like YouTube or whatever, Hulu, yeah. Netflix. Um, and it wasn't working. It was saying that it was it was having a connection issue or whatever. And well, Comcast um, is always reliable. Oh right, yeah. And then she's like, "You don't have a smart TV?" No, <laughs> don't because when I got this TV, there there were not smart TVs, or they were super expensive. Who knows? And then. I started looking at smart TVs and I said, how big do you think that TV is in the living room? And she says, small. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's not a smart TV and it's too small. I gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just because it's on a big wall. <laughs> <laughs> Mm 
That's funny. It's not smart and it's too small. <laughs> She's bringing you into the new millennia. Yeah. <laughs> Karen says the first grunge quilt she made was with Elizabeth Hartman's dinosaur quilt. Oh, fun. Oh, nice. That sounds fun. I need to look up the dinosaur quilts. <laughs> oh, the boys would love that. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. I was telling Colleen that the next time she comes, we'll have to, um, is when we were in downtown Frederick, um, uh, we had some other things to do as well. So, uh, we didn't have time to really spend, to spend there, but I want her, I want to take her to Hutchins. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That was so fun. So I was showing her some of the, um, stuff that I've gotten from there. He's like, yep. <laughs> and yeah. we, I was talking about the peaches. And then when we were at the Dutch market, they had uh, they had some peaches there as well. Nice. So I got some from there. But those were, so the ones um, at McCutcheon's, those were like um, spiced. Yeah. Spiced peaches, right? You do the spiced ones or the vanilla ones. Oh, gosh. Yeah, so I got the vanilla ones at the at the market today. So that will be part of the breakfast. So do they pickle them or something or put them in a juice or what do they do to make them spicy? Uh, not, not pickled, just um canned. Yeah, canned with like, canned. cinnamon, anise, or anise. So they cooked. They, so they cooked. Yeah. Okay. Nice. They are Lovely. tasty. They are. Ooh, maybe a, we'll bring some down to to Georgia. Oh, that's a good idea. A, that is a good idea. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make that a note. I don't forget. Create a Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Faith. Oh, Faith said, did I miss when Philippa is seeing the gentleman? Ooh, oh, the, the gentleman. gentleman. That makes it sound so naughty. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, I'm really looking forward to it. Yep, on Friday, right? You said Friday. Friday. Yeah. So it's right now. It's it's Philippa's Sunday morning, so it's Easter morning there right now. Um, and yeah. so she sees them on Friday. There's no telling what insanity they will get into. <laughs> Okay, I've got my first one done. Oh, I'm sorry. Yay! Nice. Oh, nice. Coming together really quickly now. Well, that is the big one. Okay. I'm not, you know, a, a huge fan of brown uh, usually, but if for something, you know, of nature, I really like the the brown tones that we're we're having in in his mm -hmm. feathers and in the branch he's on. It's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, mine's not all natural like that. We <laughs> <laughs> have the LSD like tootie tootie. <laughs> your your owl ate the wrong mushrooms in the forest. Yeah. <laughs> Bad acid trip owl. <laughs> <laughs> But it's going to be beautiful. Yeah, for sure. Can't wait to see it. Okay. <laughs> 
acid trip owl. I think that's going to have to be the name of this quilt. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be so cool. Well, after um, getting more fabric from Charlotte's on uh, Friday, which was just yesterday, but it seems like so much longer yeah. ago. <laughs> um, I, I'm changing colors up, so. Oh, are you? Yeah. still nice and and acid droppy or oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay probably more so <laughs> oh. oh yeah here i'll show you the pile that i got and you'll get a bit of a feel oh, oh wow those are gorgeous. It's going to be so yeah. fun. <laughs> I love how adventurous you are. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. It's fun. It's uh, it's my way of overcomplicating things. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're just putting your creative spin on it. Okay, I like that. But it means I've got to redo my spreadsheet. Oh, yeah. Oh. So. <laughs> Did you um, add more colors or change locations? Both. Oh, oh, look at you. Wow, you are making it. <laughs> <laughs> Brave lady right there. Yeah. Because I think I said the last time, it's not a one for one yeah. um, color change. So like not all of the P's are one color. Not all of SM is one color. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you are amazing. I don't think I could keep all that straight. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll see how things are at the end. <laughs> <laughs> well... The good thing is nobody will know but you because we don't know what your your that's true. Does. Exactly. That's true. So uh like, yes, that, that was a guys... design choice. Yeah, exactly. I was just gonna say that. What is it you guys always say? Design <laughs> choice. <laughs> yes, that was what I intended to do. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I had my house power wash today. Oh, fun. Yeah. A couple of local college kids came out and they did a really good job. Nice. So from reminiscing about times you can't remember to being excited about having your house power washed. <laughs> <laughs> it's Yay, adults. Yeah, fun filled couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take that one step further. We bought a power washer when we moved in here because I love a clean power washed house. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, 
my God, I've just done the stupidest thing ever. Bye -bye. I said number two on, on the, the same line. The one two line. Bad. Stupid. No, not stupid. I've done it. <laughs> I've done it more times. And you know what I want to say? Perfectly. The 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 eyebrow razor uh seam yeah. rippers for when I'm using these smaller stitch lengths. This this dude works like a charm on the shorter okay. stitch. Okay, I'm not. I'm, and it won't cut the fabric because I'm front and the back. No, no, no. This does not. I find that because of the, the stitches are, that are so tiny, I sometimes do catch the fabric with the regular seam ripper. This guy okay. has been really good. Oh, see what you mean. Like <laughs> butter. It's like butter, baby. Like butter. Oh. Okay. See, you just went ahead and sewed that the wrong way so you could use the new seam ripper. That's all. Yeah. I know. Look at that. I've been too scared to use it before. So, or you could get an electric one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> which it which is uh, a gift. Uh, um, what do you call it? Prize that that I got at the mill at the Walnutport retreat. Mm, yeah, because it was we could pick from bags, and I could feel that that one was some sort of a notion. <laughs> and because I love my notions, I picked it, and I swear that I thought you guys got me a personal shaver. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not sure how this is quilting related, but cool. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> We'd heard rumors <laughs> that you needed some help. <laughs> you heard rumors that I needed one. <laughs> oh my <laughs> lord. <laughs> Your roommates came to me and said, Can you help her, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Make sure she. Oh, right. that was really quick. Yeah, kind of satisfying, right? It's like, whoosh. yeah, yeah. I might have to invest in that electric one. I like myself a bit of a power tool. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Ooh, Nelly. Oh. Oh, let's do it properly this time. Are you off tomorrow, Shannon? I am. Hey, good. I wasn't sure if they were open or not. They are. They are. They are? Yep. Oh. Christmas Day is the only day. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Yep, yep. Wow. This is wow. where all I the, feel like all the shops. What's that? All the shops, everything closes here on Fridays. Good Friday. You know how we have the Friday and the Monday off? So everything is closed. And I think I warned Stephen about that because literally. All the grocery stores, everything is closed. I, some of the restaurants, like restaurants open, but, you know, it's their choice. And it, it's also in the liquor laws that they can't serve alcohol. So there's no alcohol served on Fridays either, Good Friday either. Mm. Now, there's some special allowances. Like I, um, my son went to a football game, like the, the, the big Broncos game, um, and they're allowed to serve alcohol there. So they've got some, but mostly you can't serve alcohol on a Friday here.
I don't know. We're, we're such a capitalist society. <laughs> I don't know of too many things that, that close for too long around here for anything. And nothing doesn't sell alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we um we had gone out to the Dutch market yesterday, and they were closed for Good Friday. Really? Yeah, I was uh, I was surprised, but they also only open um Thursday Thursday Friday Saturday. They're only open three days now. They had I I believe that they used to have. Um, that they were open more days, but that was maybe before COVID. Uh, the one in Germantown is only Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Is that? Yeah. But I don't know if that's the same family, you know, like, I don't know how that works. Yeah. But it's getting on time for them to have their big old uh, pork barbecue days out in the parking lot down in Germantown. Oh, really? Yes. Those are so good. <laughs> so good. I take it that's good. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been to that one. I've only been to the Hagerstown one. I feel like the Hagerstown one is bigger. Oh, really? Um, I, could, I could be wrong, but I just, I feel like it's a, it's a bit bigger. Hmm. So you guys uh, have a huge Dutch and German uh, community there to, to have this? The yeah, well the we're right by um the Pennsylvania line. So um it's not that that far a, a trip for the Pennsylvania Dutch to come on down. Mm. I don't know why they went to Germantown. Hagerstown makes sense because of how close it is to Greencastle, but um, I never, I, I didn't understand why they went to Germantown and not Frederick. Mm. But when they opened, Frederick was still kind of. Kind of just a hillbilly. <laughs> but hillbilly and, um, Frederick has a sister city in Germany, right? Mm -hmm. a, a couple of them, I think. I always mean to like take a picture of those signs. Yeah, I want to look into that and see exactly where in Germany that is. I don't know what it means. Yeah, like what it means to have a sister city. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we do have a lot of Oktoberfests, though, in Frederick. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to check that out this year. I need to. The one at the fairgrounds is not as good. Schifferstadt is really good. There's a couple of really, really good ones. Fairgrounds is not as good. You would think that, because that's the bigger one, you would think that that would be better, but it's boring. Look what Buddy just brought me. <laughs> it's playtime. Uh -huh. Okay. Oops. I don't think you're going to be able to get that. I didn't get to pre-cut fabrics, but I did get the D3 big section done. And all trimmed. Oh, oh nice. Oh, oh, very he, nice. Did. he did get it. Look, he brought it back. Aww. Oh, oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> My cat plays fetch. <laughs> <laughs> My dog won't. <laughs> But my cat does. George will run after the ball and he'll bring it back to me, but then he just runs circles around me uh. <laughs> and won't let me have it. <laughs> That's half the fun. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if he thinks that is what the game is. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because, like, every time I'll go to grab it, He'll, he'll like come close to me and then run. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't have it. <laughs> that for him, that is the game, apparently. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, oh, Charlotte says she's back from dinner, that she had sushi. Oh, I love sushi. <laughs> My daughter loves sushi. I'm not really a fan, but um, because my daughter likes it so much, she's gotten me to try some things, and it's not it, it's not as bad as I thought <laughs> <laughs> would it be. I'm not a very adventurous eater. I was shocked when we were coming back from QuiltCon when you said you had never been to Chipotle before. Yeah. Like, what? What rock have you been living under? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, let's go to let's go to Chipotle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you yeah. like it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's so crazy. At least you tried it, though. Wait, but didn't you just get, like, a tortilla with cheese in it? Yeah. Oh. So, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't really having Chipotle. No. <laughs> so, is this a restaurant? Um, yeah. yeah oh, it's just like the sauce. It's a it's a quick Mexican ish ish. I mean, with big air, you know, air quotes. Um, it's owned by the McDonald's Corporation, uh, and so you go okay. in and um, you tell them like, do you want a quesadilla? Do you want a burrito? Do you want a burrito bowl? Then you tell them what kind of okay. toppings you want. And you go down the line like a like, like a lunch lady line. <laughs> oh, okay. Super fun. Not, I mean, it's not like, it's like a... hmm. Oh, she's frozen. She's frozen. Oh, it's like a Mexican subway. Yeah, it's like a Mexican oh, subway. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's a funny way to put it, but yeah. Yeah, love Mexican. Now, I mean, it's not winning any Michelin stars or anything, but <laughs> it, it it's a good, quick food. <laughs> quick dinner. Yeah, um, I chose that just because we were driving home and I was hungry and we couldn't decide. So I was like, let's just go here. <laughs> there. The buddy has been hiding for the last couple of days since Colleen has been here because of her dogs. Oh, right. And her dogs are little and ignore the cats. <laughs> George, however, does not. <laughs> 
So it's it's just surprising to me that um he's bothered by by those dogs, but Well, those are those are cat sized dogs. He probably doesn't know what the heck to make of them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But he's venturing out a little bit now. The last time that she came, like you didn't, uh, he didn't come out from my room until they left. <laughs> he was not having any of it. But you're doing good. You came out, huh? <laughs> right. My um my cat is not happy with me at the moment because we're doing all kinds of renovations and the puppies are coming to work with me, but I have to lock her up. But locking her up, like she has an outdoor enclosure that's connected to my laundry, like with a cat door. So we're just locking the laundry door so that she can she has that. And when I when the tradesmen leave and I open her up, well, does she come out and has Cranky words to me. Cranky, <laughs> cranky, cranky, not happy. But she's got this beautiful enclosure. Anyway, but now we've removed all the furniture upstairs. And usually when the puppies play, try and play with her, she can jump up on the furniture and get away from them or jump down off them and pounce on them and give them a good whack to talk cool them in line. <laughs> now, now we've removed all the furniture, so she's got nowhere to hide. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder she's mad. <laughs> yeah, she's mad. She's really mad. That sounds really cool, though, the outdoor enclosure. Yeah, it's it um it, it has um it's four levels and she can climb in and out and um, go up and down and it's um, outside her because she's an indoor cat um, so she can go outside and be out and breathe the air and look at the world and when the puppies are playing in the garden she always goes up there and watches them but it's um, yeah, it's pretty cool and I have um, I've got a bed and a scratching post and a litter right up the top and cat grass and stuff and she just loves it it's really cool yeah my husband built it for her Oh, that's so cool. Oh, so Sheila's on. Hi, Sheila. She says Marla lives in Canton, Ohio, and she told me she was going to a quilt shop today because everything in the shop is 25% off. Nice. Oh, nice. Hi, Jeannie. Wow. Um, is that a shop near you, Stephanie, that has that special? No, Canton's nowhere near me. Gotcha. The closest quilt shop to me is over an hour away. Ooh. Well, so I, I don't go I don't go to them very often. You have a quilt shop. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I'm going to Stephanie's school shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to about a week and a half. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Getting so close. It is. I'm excited. Stephanie, before we know it, it's going to be cruise time. I know. I know. That'll be fun for you. I'm wow. really looking forward to that. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready for a break. Mm -hmm. So you've got Millersburg in a couple of weeks and then shortly after you go on the cruise? No, not until the end of May. The very end of May, beginning of June. Mm -hmm. Okay. It'll fly. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I mean, look at that. We're at the end of March. I know it's hard to believe, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to go quick. I thought I had like a couple weeks yet till Millersburg. Nope. <laughs> Oh boy. Hey, Luke, don't be a butthead. To which she immediately ignores me and is a butthead. <laughs> <laughs> Sadie, the old dog, is laying down all nice and comfy, minding her own business. Hi, Janice. Good to see you. Hi, Lydia. Hey. George left me. <laughs> I'm not going on the couch with Pauline and her pups. <laughs> <laughs> The first night that they were here, George could not get over himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Stephanie, you know, when you, when you were here. Yeah. There's just new yeah. people to play with. Very, very excited. <laughs> Whose mouth can I put my tail in now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he did he has settled down quite a bit thankfully <laughs> all right I'm losing my mind so I'm going to I'm trying to find you, you, and I can't find it for some reason. And it's because I'm looking so hard for it. So I know, oh, yes, of course, because it's not where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Have you guys know as many people are following this with us? Or is it just the four of us? I know that a couple of people asked uh which blocks we're going to be doing next <laughs> i think shelly stewart had talked about it mm -hmm. um like there was a couple of people. Melissa, i think melissa said she might do it at one point I did. Oh. that's right yeah melissa did mention something i oh, think yeah. uh, um, lydia yeah. said philippa she loves the mini quilts behind you yeah. So, something like, very special person designed this one. <laughs> Some FPP hack. I think, and I think I quilt some because I get that subscription box. Nice. Which is like, it gives me so many. But yes, this one is very special. Fabulous person designed that one. <laughs> that other one is Open Gates. Yes. That one. Is it a recent Open Gates? 
So, okay, but I think it was probably your fall last year, 20, 2023 fall, maybe? Okay. I might have that one. I got yeah. their subscription box for quite a while, but yes. I was only collecting everything, so <laughs> I have to stop it because I have <laughs> all these beautiful, wonderful quilts, quilt kits, but I haven't done anything with them, so yeah. But so I have more time where I actually can start sewing them. I find I that some um, of the small things. <laughs> yeah. The um, I find that I get them. I was getting them sent monthly, and obviously the shipping is a lot. But my husband buys it um for me as part of my Christmas present every year. Um, but then when somebody's coming out here, I get them sent to San Francisco, and then they bring them out. So then that saves me a lot of shipping. And then I find that I arrive, I get like three or four boxes at one time, and then it's like I've got a lot to do. <laughs> if I get a monthly, I keep on top of them. But when I get three months, like at the moment, the last three boxes have been going to San Francisco. So um, once I get here, I'll have like many projects to do. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. She does such a nice job with her boxes. She does. I, I, I love them. And I, you know, if her fabric choices are everything I would pick. So yeah. well, mostly 90% of the time. Um, and I think that's half the battle. And because a lot of the fabrics that um, selections we don't get here. So I get that's part of the, one of the things I like a lot. I would, there's fabrics that she puts in that I've never, ever seen here. Mm. So that's kind of nice. That makes it even. And there's always a really good notion. Mm-hmm. Who doesn't like a good notion? Were you able to get her batiks? Was that last year? That was her, right? Open Gates had had a batik release. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she had a batik, and then last year she did a Christmas, and then next. This year, she's doing a full line. I like them so much, I haven't touched them. <laughs> That's a good yeah, I'm afraid yeah. to use them. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Go lay down, Lulu. Down. <laughs> Man, dogs do weird things. This dog, Lauren and I had to, it was, it was trim all the nails day. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting stuff that happens when you get old. Um, <laughs> and Lilu, if, as long as you let her eat her toenail, she'll let you cut her toenails. Ew. She's so weird. Did you say eat her nails? Yep. Yeah. Oh, she eats, the, eats them. I'm like, I don't know. Calcium? I, well, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. As long as she sits still, I don't care what we gotta do. <laughs> weird freaking dog. But she sits still every single time. So there you, you gotta go. do what you gotta do. George does not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think you're surprised by that. <laughs> Sadie would like to kill us. We don't we don't even bother because we just take her to get it done professionally because I one don't want to get bit by a hundred pound dog. Two, don't want her to have to mentally deal with the fact that she bit one of us because I think she would go into a deep depression. Um, so I don't ever want to put her in the position of having to do that. So we just take her to a professional. It's a good idea, I do that. 
because my poodles they've got to have they've got to, they go to the salon once every six weeks and they just do it for me so I just don't have to deal with it yeah Lydia's saying she hopped on the Open Gates website to see if they happened to have that pattern still, but they did not. Um, no. And said, do you guys think their juicy cactus PDF uh, pattern is paper piecing or traditional? I don't know. Hmm. But it should, should it say? It would say in its description, I would hope, right? But they usually yeah. put that, right? don't they? I think so. Yeah. I'm really yeah, bad at reading. Juicy. Obviously, I ended up with a full-on EPP uh, pattern to do with Ingrid. So I'm really bad at reading what a pattern is. <laughs> 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 but I think they tell you. Yeah. Well, oh, hey, what Sean. was it that you said to me? What the heck did you sign me up for? <laughs> I don't think heck was the word I used either. <laughs> no, I don't know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it was it was a, a sh more shocking word, but yeah, I was like, "What is happening?" Yeah, I may have been saying that a few times while I was cutting all these pieces up. What has Shannon done to me? Oh my god! <laughs> that terrible wedge. <laughs> <laughs> Virginia, I'm just Sean. That, what'd you say i'm just I'm, I'm just pleased that you know we started the new york beauty because at least it gave me the concept of what we were doing yeah mm. yeah a little bit of a taste of what you were getting into that's right girls go lay down in the tuchus. I said their names and now they're like, woohoo. <laughs> so Lydia, that's not paper piecing. It uses templates. Uh, templates for the juicy cactus one she was talking about. Oh. Uh, so you you cut the fabric out with the templates and then yeah. Does that mean like lots of Y seams and stuff? I don't think so. They're just oh. look they're like almost like half rectangles or something. Oh, gotcha. And they've got templates for it, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. How realistic that looks. <laughs> that's pretty. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, that's cool. So, um, yes. Nice. So, like, yeah. Oh, it's going to be so cool. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a candy corn. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Yummy. Need to add some white in there. <laughs> yeah. What colors are you doing his eyes? Do you know? Um, yeah, like a um, like a reddish orange. Cool. He really is going to be psychedelic. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Acid trip owl. <laughs> reddish orange, though. I wouldn't put him in, in your bedroom. You might wake up in the middle and like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> if she quilted it can you imagine she did that and then quilted it with like glow in the dark thread oh. like oh my gosh i was gonna say i could use the glow in the dark fabric <laughs> yeah 
It's true. Oh, what a good prank that would be on your brother, though. Oh, you just gave me a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, your brother's going to hate me. <laughs> but I may be best friends with your sister in law. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It was um, my sister-in-law and nephew are doing this project. And there, he um, Zane is sewing a pillowcase. Oh. And so, actually, it's right here. Let me show it, it to you. Like she was teaching him French seams and everything, right? That's what that you were you're yeah. saying. Oh yeah. wow! Wow. That's awesome. So this is it. So it's directional fabric nice airplanes wow and then look at it, it's even got Ooh, nice see this is all the controls that's well um, cool the only problem is so you see this is well we had embroidered his name oh but it's upside down and inside the pillow <laughs> <laughs> oops so she just asked me to re redo it just um put it in the hoop like this yeah so that's what i'm gonna do but that's she so was saying good. that it, they could not figure out like she was trying to have they pin it together before they came over here. Yeah. Um, and they couldn't figure out with the directional fabric how to how to pin it. And the first thing she says when she comes over is, you need to save our marriage. <laughs> 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 we need help. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Ingrid, you do embroidery as well? I didn't realize. Um, I have a one of my machines says has a small embroidery hoop. Oh, okay. So don't do I it do, like Stephen. I do it. hand embroidery as well. Oh yeah. And cross stitch. Stephanie and I we're gonna have that um cross stitch hour. Yes. <laughs> That'll be fun. When uh, you start your own channel, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. waiting like, a long uh, time for that. <laughs> uh, Jeannie said, how did you find out about the template? I just saw the picture with no in info. Uh, Stephanie. Oh, I'll link where I found it at. Hold on. Cool. And then Sean is saying it looks a lot of fun with all of the aviation instruments on it. It was, yeah, that was a cool mm. pattern of him to pick out. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how they picked that fabric out or where. But it it's nice. It feels nice as well. That's cool. Yeah, it's, um, so it's something that's going to be judged. At the mm -hmm. school, I can't remember. Can't remember what they called it. But... That's even more fun. Hmm. But yeah, he was asking me all kinds of questions about um, how the embroidery worked on the machine and. What's this called? What's that called? What's that called? Oh, let's mm -hmm. get the manual. <laughs> <laughs> let's look this up. That one's all <laughs> wrong. Because <laughs> part of the um, assignment is that they have to be able to explain it to the judges, the process. 
Unless Brad Pitt is trying to break in this house, you need to chill out. <laughs> Relax. If it ain't Ryan Reynolds, I ain't getting up. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Jeannie. Okay, go ahead, you crazy lunatic. Did you guys get your carnival um, clue? Yes. The instructions? Yeah. Yeah. Number nine. I know. I can't believe we're on nine already. That's wild. I know. It's almost over. I'm ready. <laughs> I think I'm sorry, I did I say that out loud? <laughs> 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 Are you guys going to schedule a log for that? Yeah, that'll have to be this coming Saturday because then we're in Millersburg. So that's right. Yeah. So yeah, this next this next Saturday coming up. Okay. This supposed to storm. Shannon? Oh, it started to clear up. Is it supposed? To, is it coming back in? I don't know. I, it just sounds like thunder to me. Oh, boy. I'm blowing the rain to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, Uh-oh. I thought I had the last piece done to make because I started with C1. Oh, yeah. And then I just discovered I, there was one hidden under the paper. I'm like, oh, oh <laughs> that's a good <laughs> Like, oh, man, I got one more to do. So close. Okay, I can see why you started with the other one. I had already started this one when you said, oh, let's do this one first. <laughs> <sighs> Not hard, just lots of pieces. Yeah. Yeah, nine nine p.m. Hundred percent chance of rain. Hmm. I mean, that right. could be completely different where you are, twenty minutes away. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it's overnight. It's not, you know, when most of the people will be driving for to get to. Local Easter things or anything like that. So, yeah, that's all right. Good. I've been on a kick of listening to music I listened to like in middle school, or it was junior high when I was there, but middle school now, whatever. Um, so, I've been listening to a lot of skater music and uh <laughs> like violent femmes and depeche mode and uh oh 10, 000 maniacs and <laughs> oh wow <laughs> that's awesome 
reminiscing about the days I had a friend who had uh, a half pipe in his backyard and we would go there after school every day and hang out with all the skater boys. <laughs> You go. Oh, he's trying to eat my thread. <laughs> yeah, I saw him before. Yeah. No. Okay. Is this like a jigsaw? You just figure out how it goes together? <laughs> is it a, a plan? Here. <laughs> so there, there will be an assembly guide in your thing, but all you've got to worry about now is just putting all of the fabric on each piece. <laughs> I've done that. But you're not showing me the fabric side, you're just showing me the the paper side. Show me where the fabric is. Look at it okay. pretty. So I got yes. them all done. Okay, so in your Number paper D. pack, there is an assembly guide for that block for, oh, for okay. d4 right that's the one we were doing d or d3 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 yep okay okay no don't try to figure it out for yourself because sometimes it's it's never just a b a to b b a b to c it's never that easy mm. oh okay I mean, sometimes oh. it's obvious, but yeah, it's not always. So there is a point in some way. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that was easier to find than my binding the other night. Oh my god, that drove me crazy. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> And it was right beside me in my third drawer. It was just, you know, how long did I spend? An hour trying to find that? Anyway, and it was right at the back of the drawer. I couldn't find it for the life of me. Yeah. <laughs> you did. It's so frustrating. Wow. Uh, D3. Okay. Are you right? So we are at 8.55. So we're going to start wrapping her up. Rose Garland Creations. Hi, Catherine. Good yeah. morning from Taz, Australia. Mm. Happy Taz Easter. Mania. That's awesome. That's very cool. So, okay, Taz That'll is short for Tasmania. Okay. Yes. Cool. Good morning. Beautiful part of the country. Beautiful part of the country. Okay, so when I'm sewing them together, Shannon, mm -hmm. do I do I take do I take the this paper off or just sew it on the paper? Sew it on the paper because that um, right uh, the the dark black line on the inside of the seam allowance that's going to be your sew line. Okay. And so you, and you'll keep the paper. Marks, the end. Yeah, the, and that extends the sew line. So when you're lining up your pieces, so I don't, I have, this is A and this is B. If I'm assuming that these go like this, you're going to do right side together, right side together. And you're like the white lines, you'll end up lining them up so that they match the end of the, th okay. these aren't trimmed so it's not going to look correct so uh, i'm that's why i'm hesitant of showing you because they're not trimmed up so it's not going to look exactly okay. right but the the white okay. sew lines will will line up on your ends so that when you flip it over yeah it it fits because this it, it looks weird like this doesn't look like it should fit on this so if I put a pin in that in that white bit, I wouldn't. There. I would put a pin in and each corner. If you want to do the pin 
one in each corner, right at, uh, so like in IO, right up in IO. Yeah. And then down in UU. So this is for this piece. And then yeah. put those pins. Stab them together. Yep. It, and so where it's coming through for this piece, it'll come through T and UU. Okay. And then you can pin on the sew line straight across to make sure that this sew line on this side matches this sew line on this side. Okay. Okay. Think I make sure it. that you line up. All right. It'll, cool. And they've got a nice little, little picture here in the in the book too. Yep. I'm I love that you have it. Pictures that work. I love that you have it bound in like all like perfectly organized for you. I love it so much. <laughs> I did tell you I'm a bit of a freak with that kind of stuff. Um, trust me, I'm here. And for I, it. when I and when I cut all my bits up, I've got them in little. little yes. Pouches. It's great. That's awesome. <laughs> it makes it so much easier. So much. Less stressful. Yeah. And then it, they've got little, I've got them in a binder because they've got little holes in them. Yeah. Yeah. I love the organization. But I mean, you started it with the, I watched your organization video. I don't know which one you were doing, but it just was perfect. Made sense with my brain. <clears throat> Okay, so it must be that one. Shannon, when are we going to sew together again? That we're going to have to, to think about because with the uh, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, my brain's starting to shut down. With the retreat. <laughs> <laughs> my, my brain's like, <laughs> no, I hear you. I'm tired. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that's a, what what Saturdays are going to work for us? April's Saturdays are good. Yeah, the 6th is Carnival. 13th is Millersburg. The 20th, April 20th and April 27th, it, Saturday for us, Sunday morning for, for Philippa. Either one of those are free for me. And that's when we start doing just two. And actually, it being later in the month gives us a lot of time because we do have the retreat. It gives us time to get these four blocks done <laughs> to catch up. <laughs> yeah, I left the last time we sewed together. I got three done. Yeah. I haven't even got one done this time. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even get one done. I've got all the bits done for one twersy one but not sewn together <laughs> yeah yeah yep so we'll well let miss huh can i can ask you a question so uh -huh. when when i finish putting it together do i iron the seams open so that's I do. a lot of fab that's a lot of fabric i do and and when you've got them sewn together you can take the paper from the seam out so that it, okay. that's not adding more bulk. But keep the papers okay. on the outside because you're going to continue building those units together into sections and then the sections into the finished block. So you'll just okay. keep the, the paper there to give it structure as you're, okay. and to keep your sew lines for the rest of the pieces you're putting together. 
But okay. in the seam allowance, you can take those pieces out. That helps a lot with, with not having to pull them out later down the line and with bulk. But yeah, okay. I do, um, unless it's a piece, sometimes you'll have uh, one section that will have like a bunch of pieces coming together. And that piece you you sew together, that's just one solid piece of fabric. If that happens, I will um, go towards one side that's just that just has the one piece of fabric. Uh, but usually I'm doing open seams for when these units are coming together. Okay. And I utilize this bad boy. What is that? Hammer, I hammer those seams down. I get some aggression oh. out. I was going to say that looks like one of those knee things for a doctor's office. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> cool. <laughs> when does one get that? That's really cool. Uh, it just Amazon. It's just a uh, rubber mallet, and like it. When I when I used it up, I can replace it. <laughs> when I when I've beaten so many seams down that I need to replace it. <laughs> so is it an actually a, a quilting tool for hide the piecing? It, it's not. A, no, it's not quilting, but <laughs> but it. And it works. It the, I used it on this guy to get the seams as flat as I possibly could. Because the <laughs> all of those points coming together. <sighs> yeah. Gives you gives you some aggression release. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. You'll have to send me the link. See if I can find it. Yeah, I'll send you what the I can't remember what the name of it is. <laughs> that is cool. But yeah, it's another another fun. Uh, multitasking gadget. My kids act up or I have to put a seam <laughs> down. <laughs> uh, okay, so for the next um oh let me let me pull up the 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 schedule because we'll be doing Let's see. For April, the next time we get together, we'll be doing block A1 and A3. Now, the 20th and the 27th are the two Saturdays that we're going to have free um, after Millersburg. Do we want to, to get together for both, both of those Saturdays? Or do we want to spread it out a little bit more and do just one April, do two in May, Two in June. We don't have to do them all live on um, YouTube either. We can like play some catch up and stuff and and not have everything on YouTube. Sorry, YouTube. So I, the only thing I have is my husband's birthday is April 30 and we're going away for the weekend before that. Oh. So I'm not available that weekend. Okay. So that, that's the 27th? Sometimes he does take more priority than my quilting. <laughs> uh, you got to keep them happy. Otherwise, they talk so much. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Okay, so maybe the 20th then we can get together. Um, yeah. And we'll do those, those two blocks, uh, A1 and A3. But for April, our our homework can be a like A one A three B one B three, and then we get together for May. We're just doing one block each time because those are the uh, a oh, lot Molly, of. Molly, have you seen that? Have you seen A three? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> have you seen A <laughs> two? B three? I mean B two? Yeah. Yeah. Where it's getting it's getting fun. Where there's like, you know lots of lots of little sections to work up. <laughs> All right. Well, so it sounds like April twentieth is probably the next time we'll be able to get together. But for the month of April, we're gonna be working on blocks A one, A three, B one, and B three. And so that'll be April's get together and all of our homework. 
then in May we'll we'll figure out what days will work for us. May is going to be. Oh, let me see. <gasps> Look at the oh, points. Good job. Oh, so wow. Is that meant to look like that? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, it worked. Look at you. I'm so impressed, Shannon. You're an expert now. Look at you go. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I love the encouragement. Wow. So yeah, you, you will have some little uh, ends bits to trim up uh, because the like the dog ear will will go off the page. That's fine. That's normal, and I have to do it all the time. So, um, I'm definitely getting one of those hammers though. It's fun. <laughs> It's so fun. <laughs> I usually do it on the wool mat just so that it, it's not quite as loud, but <laughs> it is a lot of fun. Oh, cool. All right. Okay, so we have this has been fun. We have until April 20th to get the rest of these ones done and the additional two. <laughs> and then we'll work on uh, the A1, A3 when we get together on the 20th. Okay. okay. These fun colors. Oh, look at those colors. Oh, oh wow. That's pretty. Nice. I cannot wait to see Acid Betty. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Acid Betty. <laughs> maybe the, maybe the, next, the next project we do, each one of us do a different color. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I That'll like that. Yeah. A blue giraffe, a pink giraffe, a green giraffe. <laughs> we'll have the, the, what is it? Uh, is it ATF? Or who, DEA? Who Who is interested in all the drugs happening? They're going to wonder what we're up to. <laughs> the DEA? What are these people on? <laughs> yeah, Drug Enforcement Agency, DEA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ATF is alcohol... <laughs> Tobacco firearms, tobacco firearms. They don't care. Well, yeah, unless no, it's wacky it's tobacco. Well, I mean, they care, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. in Australia. So, thank you to everybody that is, has hung out with us and listened to the insanity. <laughs> uh, next up again will be April twentieth, most likely. Um, well, we'll, we'll do a one and a three. If you're playing along, you'll also want to have B one and B three done. Um, and then let's see what's coming up. Uh, we talked about carnival will be next Saturday. So that'll be on Stephanie's channel. Um, is it this Monday that Fort Worth starts? The 15th. The 15th. Okay. All right. Did you, oh, so are you, you doing that Shannon? Fort Worth? Mm -hmm. No. Nah. Yeah, I got the social, the social review. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. So, um, well, I was gonna see what like. So it's this Saturday. Oh, carnival is your Saturday. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, that's. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Because <laughs> yeah, I was trying to do it by date. Do 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 Saturday. Um, social review is April tenth, which is. Uh, when second Wednesday of the month is on my channel this time at seven o'clock. Um, if Stephen and Walter can, they may join us, but you know, with them in uh, Australia, living it up down under, we don't know <laughs> if they'll be able to, to join in, but it'll be Stephanie and Russ and I at least we're going to talk about uh, all things patterns, things that we like about patterns, things we don't like about patterns or pattern pattern writers, just in general. Not I'm not trying to like lambast to like in specific people or anything like that, but uh, you know, just in general, what what are our pet peeves that maybe pattern writers forget to do, especially for beginners, uh, and things if we're writing patterns, which the three of the five are we're trying to <laughs> talk a couple people into <laughs> to also doing uh what what we like to make sure that we include 
uh, for folks that are reading our own patterns. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions or your own tips and tricks about when you're when you're looking at a pattern or like what draws you to a pattern, like I was, I was saying, well, if it has a sew along or if it has a, a tutorial, a free tutorial video, does that make you more apt to do it or want to join in or more apt to want to buy it? Like what, what makes you interested in a pattern? So those, those kinds of topics we're going to talk about. Uh, and any other insanity that, that comes up in the questions <laughs> or out of our mouths, you never know what it could be. That's <laughs> April 10th. And that's the Wednesday, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. You know, I try to remember the Eastern part. We've got a lot of friends all over the place. So, uh, Stephanie, did I forget anything that you've got going on? Uh, no, well, just the New York Beauty. Wow, we got that too. Yeah. Holy for joy. Yeah. <laughs> And that, nope, I was going to say frill neck again. No, we were talking about that on Wednesday. Now I don't remember the name of the one we're doing. I'm looking it up because I can't remember either. Hang on. <laughs> oh, uh, we're bad. Yeah. Sea Dragon. Sea Dragon. Okay, that's fun. Mm -hmm. I did not remember that it was Sea Dragon, but that'll be I fun. I didn't so either. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh gosh, that's just in a couple of days. So Tuesday will be uh new york beauty will be back on stephanie's channel even months so the the second is sea dragon the 23rd is lizard you've got a, a reptilian thing going on there um <laughs> and yeah so uh the 23rd because we'll be in millersburg in between so we've pushed that the second block a week out so yeah we'll see you on tuesday night for sea dragon Yay. all right ladies thank you so much for an awesome so again this is such a good idea philippa you are a rock star for pushing <laughs> us to do this uh <laughs> and i'm so very thankful to be able to spend the time with you guys i feel so out of the loop with all the stuff that's going on so it's nice to to catch up with everybody thank yeah. you all out there for being here and we will see you all on YouTube soon. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. See ya. Oh, for the love of all that's holy, where did my mouse go? <laughs> <laughs>